What is up, CT Drag fam? So we're back at the garage, well, Randy's garage. So we're just chilling. What are you doing, my man? I'm fixing a problem that I've had for quite some time now. <laughs> Son, this guy had this fucking, it's like a, it's for gum. Yo. He had it right it, under it, right? It, it was worked, like bro. this. It worked. And it, was it worked holding for like, Two three years, like it didn't move. Like it was, actually it was in there tighter. solid. It dude. was in there tighter than the one that actually had the piece on it. For real. But now I actually found some because my boy over at uh, Advance Auto hooked it up. I'm telling you, I've been looking for these things, trying to find them for the longest. And everyone was telling me, no, nah, they're not available. You can't buy them and stuff like that. And then I had this OG dude, bro. He was just like, yo, man. He, like I was telling you earlier on the phone and shit. He was like, what you driving? What's that? He knew exactly what I had. What year it was and everything. What model is like weird. And then he was like, yeah, I got you right now. And, he, and I asked him if he could look it up. And he was like, oh. He pulled two of them out. Like if he had them, she was waiting for me. <laughs> I was like, yo. All right. <laughs> so today we're going to finish up on the EK. So Randy did this for me the line he cut it because for some reason I, I just couldn't get this side at all he got it I brought the fittings I brought everything that we need to finish this car brought extra clamps and then I got the actual fitting for the oil return with the gasket and two bolts to go in it and from then on I think we might be able to start it for the first time of course we're not gonna go real crazy with it because again it's not tuned so no, we're going I'm pretty excited we're going crazy bro <laughs> we're, 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 we are going to hit 25 pounds of boost. <laughs> we're, when we started, Yo, we got mad full dark. throttle to the floor when you started just fucking. We <laughs> as long as it holds up, we know we're okay. For no real. leaks, no smoking, none of that. <laughs> Are you popping? So, you heard it there. So, if it does run, I will be driving this to the new garage. Guys, yet so get ready for that. I got a garage now. Hey, go check this one out. <laughs> this one was half as bad. So, all right, these, that's how it's supposed to look. These okay. are the clips right here, right? You see these? You know what these are? That's the shit that holds it into place, right? The piece, yeah. You see how this one is? Yeah, so the whole time that that one was gone, this one was like this when I'm driving. <laughs> I remember driving because sometimes it moves, right? You, yeah, usually whenever I have like a, like a chicken nugget box or something like yeah. that, you stuff it in there. You know what I'm saying? It'll last, it'll last for like a month. So This guy. Look at the difference though. Look at the headlight. It's perfectly straight compared to the other one. And yo, show them the new shoes I just put on it. Show them the new shoes I just put on it. Tell me I got the Toyo triple uh, triple eights with tire letter. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I wish I had the camera today. Why? There was a there was a Honda Civic, and I'm pretty sure you're a sub. You have to be. It was a Honda Civic, but it was a bootleg SI, and yeah. it looked like a Batmobile. Like if the thing wanted to fly, because it had aerodynamics up the ass. <laughs> and he kind of like cut in front of me when I was zooming. I'm doing like 70 miles an hour. And he kind of punched it and went. But I knew what it was. <laughs> Smoked your ass with this bitch. <laughs> Go park that shit. And get a real ass side. <laughs> no, he was mad. He was flashing his lights and shit. That ain't my fault, bro. I was gone. <laughs> Well, last time you guys watched, I did the oil pan gasket. We also have the valve cover gasket because I never put that back on. 
We got the ECU and all that good stuff. So today we'll get her going good. I'm not going to record every single bit of it because we just want to get the shit running, really. I showed you guys how to put the oil return. Oh, oil return and then oil feed. So I showed you guys how to do that. Put on the sandwich plate and everything else. So I'm just going to just send it. Put Do whatever I got to do to finish it up and actually get it running. And I'm actually really excited. Like, I cannot wait to drive this thing and even hear it. I want to put... The way I'm going to drive it home, me and Randy were talking, I'm probably going to drive it home without the inner, the this pipe right here. It's going to yeah, be taken yeah, off. Yeah, it's not good to do that. You don't care. What you mean? Well, anyways, that's what we're going to do. And then we got a fab up something that Randy has got an idea for the radiator. I think we should be all set. And the only thing I'm missing is a seat, but I'll just put a fucking, I'll put something in there. I know where there's a seat at. Where? You need to get back to its owner. Where? Right there on the floor. What? Where? Turn around, right there in the back. Oh shit, yeah, Sammy's. Yeah, but isn't that the passenger side though? I mean, the seat is a seat one, right? I'm saying, would it bolt up though, the same way? I think you're just driving the car home. Alright, cool. That's fine with me. Bet. So now we got a seat. Everything's coming together. <laughs> Obviously, nigga, I got a whole bucket seat at the house. You got a whole bucket seat on the wall too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me, sh let me show on that. But the only thing is, I don't have the rails, and I'm gonna nigga, sit way too low on that shit. That <laughs> I fit in that seat, nigga. I fit small in it. Anyways, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Ew. Eyes of the goddess. Alright guys, so here's the fitting. Here's the gasket. And the two bolts that are holding it to place. This is going to go into this. It's going to screw right up. And so I also, I don't have a part number for it. Because I got that from uh, High Output. Out in Waterbury. And he hooked it up. It was like $27. But it's like a great fitting. Like... Even the threads are just perfect. So, yeah, man. Let's put that on real fast. All right, so Randy's doing that. He's almost done with it. I'm going to take off the valve cover and do the valve cover gasket. And put the little washers that go underneath it. And then we should be popping. That's just pretty done. Pretty much done. The piping is here. I brought clamps just in case. And I, it was for a good reason. All right, guys. So this is what we got so far. Intercoolers on, turbos on, oil feed, I mean oil feed, oil return. Dude, that's something that I always do. I'm sorry, man. I always do the same shit. Oil feed, oil return is on. Fittings on, gaskets on. Everything's on. I got to go get an Allen key and I also got to get oil. Or actually, I have to get oil and we're missing the Allen key to do, to take off this screw. Just so we're able to take out the valve cover and actually do the valve cover gasket. And I got to get some coolant as well. So I might as well just get the Allen keys over there. So I think that's where we're going to go. And then we should be popping after that. Let me just let y'all guys know. This is an amazing experience, man. Like, my car is almost going to be running. Like, I'm actually really happy, man. And I'm real grateful for Randy's help all the time, bro. He always points me in the right direction. So... Big thanks to him. Thanks for all the subscribers. All the love. Yeah, we almost got 700 subs, bro. We're almost there to 1,000. Once 1,000 comes, I might... I might just raffle off a car, man. Like... Might get lucky. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in a minute. We're actually going to the parts store. We're going to Napa. This guy's an asshole. Fuck him. And, uh... We're gonna get the coolant, the oil, and alley keys. I think we should be all set. Fucking Georgia. All right, we're back with Boosted Becky. We went to Napa, we got ourselves some oil, 5W30, got some coolant. I picked up my uh, speed sensor. Got to kind of like fab up to make it work. And we should be all set. It did, it did start raining. That's not good. 
Still gonna drive the car, but it's like, I just hate the rain. I got the Allen key, so now we're gonna take out the valve cover. Valve cover is off. All right, guys, so everything's back. Everything's back on. Fluids are on. Well, not the coolant, but the oil's in it. Everything's tightened. Brand new gaskets all over. And I think we're good. I think we might just try and start it. She's probably dead though, 100%. Like 100%. Yeah. When it does, I think it's gonna start right up. He thinks not. It's gonna start right up. So, what's your guess? My guess is that it's gonna start right the fuck up and it's gonna be like making turbo like a little I don't think it's gonna start wrong. and it's gonna be loud as fuck. Okay, and it's gonna be smoking and steaming, and you're gonna come out and be like, yo, bro, with that cheesy ass smile you be having all the time. <laughs> What's your prediction? I don't think it's gonna start. I think this bitch is gonna sit there and just crank. All right, well, let's find out. Live and direct. Yeah, smile. <laughs> Turn it off. You got a leak. You got an oil leak. Miguel, years, 20 years, my nigga, I've what been doing, doing this. I don't know. I see it underneath the car, though. Oh, fucking bitch. That's the 10th thing that was the problem. <laughs> well, I was right. You were wrong. Dude, that's crazy. Yo, that OG, you can't fuck like with that. the OG, bro. Yo, start it up like, start it up like it never was off. I wonder why it's leaking, though. You're gonna have to get underneath it and figure it out. Oh! Punch me dead in the face. Bro, I'm not doing it. Right that. now. Your face is too pretty. Son, I have no oil filter! Oh, you pull some PFI shit. <laughs> get out of here. Yo, the battery's about to die, bro. <laughs> Son, I got the other one in the car. And I brought the charge. Bro, that's crazy. How did I, I told you you had some that, fucking oil leak. Well, back to the store you go. Fuck! See you in a bit. The battery. Son. Fucking Picasso. Come on. Fucking Picasso. Do you see the work? Show him that. Hold Show him that. Well, actually, let me tell you guys what happened first. Alright, so the car started, as you guys saw. He won the bet. And so I forgot to put an oil filter and I completely slipped my mind because I'm really trying to drive this car and it spit out like probably a quarter oil, right? Please. So I bought another one. I bought a fuel filter, I mean an uh, oil filter, and when I got back he was doing that. So he's almost done. No. No, almost. I am done. <laughs> and all we have left is to buy the cutting wheel and then we should be popping. I just hope the blow off valve sounds really good. That's what I really hope. What do you want it to sound like? I don't know. Not that gay shit where it goes. It might do Yo, if it does that, I'm going to be pissed. I'm just going to turn off the car right here and put a for sale sign. I think it's a flutter style. I think it is. Yeah. That's definitely more than one quarter oil, bro. <laughs> Them oil pumps ain't no joke, man. When they get the pumping, that's it. <laughs> Yo, that's all of it, son. Look, there's like a little spot that's like got like. Is that water? Yeah, it's water. That's crazy, right? How the fuck did that happen? How do we get water? Because maybe there was some water on the floor. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how you're going to clean this up. All right, so we're back once again from Napa. So we got some more oil. <laughs> and it dumped all of it out completely. Like, there was no oil in this uh, car. Let's not forget. Two trips to Napa. Yeah, that's two. This is our second trip. Because I went the first time and thought it spilled a little bit. My dumbass should have checked the dipstick. And I didn't, and I spilled it 
it spit it completely out. Within a stack, quick stack. With like, in a split sec, like dude, it was only on for like, a second dude, and it spit they out know. all. They see how long That's it crazy. On. Well, let's try it again. All right, guys, we got it back together. Everything went in healthy and smooth. We're gonna give it a shot, and we're gonna try to start it for the very first time. We haven't tried it yet. Miguel's back there hooking up the battery, getting everything all set. <laughs> and yeah, my predictions is it's gonna start right up, and it's gonna make some boom, boom, pow noises. What do you think, Miguel? I don't know, I'm scared. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> All right, first time I'm good. And here we go. Oh, man, all right. That was definitely unexpected, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Hello? Yo! It's son! So much for uh, stock tune, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's just definitely got the fuel. So, yeah. Alright. Check underneath, make sure we don't have any major leaks. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo! Holy Well, that's, that's it for today's video, guys. You guys heard Boosted Becky for the first time. I heard it for the first time. It sounds super good. Benson, if you're watching, we're gonna come to you real, real, real soon. We're gonna button up the little shit that it needs, the little shit, and then tow it to you. And we should be popping, man. High horsepower gang. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.